we have already covered what is credit, credit history, uh, what are the elements of credit history, and then uh, we have covered advantages and disadvantages of credit. And now we are going to start major types of credit. Normally, there are there, there are so many types of credit. For our better understanding, uh, there are three types of credit accounts. One is called revolving, another one is in installment, and third one is open. Revolving and in installment credit accounts are very much available to our society, in our society. Uh, but open credit account is not that much common in our society. So what is a revolving uh, credit? A revolving means again and again. Uh, so what is revolving credit? Uh, it's a very common types of credit accounts. Uh, what is known as line of credit. That means once you borrow from your bank, uh, but remember there is a limit of using your borrowings that is called credit limit or you can understand another way that how much of your credit can be used at any given time so there's a limit of using your credit within a limit time so time frame is there and how much credit you can use that is also limited. And it typically refers to credit cards. Credit cards you will find just, just match with the definition. Credit cards, you have a limit. It's a three lakh taka credit card or four lakh taka credit cards or five lakh taka credit cards. So it limits or it, it, it is a cap that you can't use more than that amount. So uh, time frame is there because uh, you know that credit card has time frame. Uh, uh, it's not for unlimited time. It's not for 90 years or 100 years. Uh, it has a time frame. Uh, you, you will have a credit card for three years or five years. And after three years, you have to renew it. After five years, you have to renew it. And, and you see that so time frame is there. Also, the credit limit is there. So credit card is one kind of revolving credit. Why revolving? Uh, within that time frame, uh, the money limited for your use for uh, credit purposes, uh, you can use again and again. So if you uh, repay the credit amount, you can use it again. So that's why it's revolving. So what's the difference between revolving uh, credit account and in installment credit account? You will find that in case of in installment credit account, uh, a, a set of amount uh, of money uh, is fixed. Uh, what it is called that you will get the money at a time. You can borrow your loan amount at a time. So if you have, if if, if you borrow loan under you know, installment system, uh, if the limit of the loan is taka ten lakh, so you will get ten lakhs taka at a time. But you can pay by using an installment. It can be weekly installment. It can be. Uh, monthly installment, quarterly installment, semi-annual installment, or annual installments. Uh, there are various types of installment loans. Some examples are here. You have a student loans, mortgages loan, auto loans to buy uh, vehicles, personal loans, etc. Now the last one where uh, I have mentioned that that is not very common uh, in our society is known as open credit and that is also mentioned uh, that it's always rarer uh, many people don't ever see it on their credit reports so what is open credit open credit refers to accounts that you can borrow from up to a maximum amount uh, like a credit card but which must also be paid back in full each month so you see that uh, you borrow the money the feature is like credit card here's a limit, but in case of credit card, you can repay as per your capacity. What it is, uh, there is always a minimum payment. So if you pay minimum payment, you don't need to pay others. You can take time, you can 
uh, return the money taking long time. But in case of open credit, how much credit you spend, the total amount you have to return in, in, in the same month. So each month, you have to return the full amount, not the minimum amount. So this is the difference. In case of credit card, if you use even Taka 1 luck this month, if you're capable, you can return Taka 1 luck. If you are not capable, then you can pay only the minimum amount of Taka 5,000 or Taka 10,000. And the rest you can pay gradually. So this way, open credit is different than a credit card. 